That's focus. That is laser fucking focus. And that's the way that successful people think. Welcome to this Bonoso podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Alex Bonoso. My experience and expertise is in scaling all types of medical businesses to seven, eight, and nine figures. And I'm sharing my journey to having multiple eight-figure companies and someday, hopefully, enjoying a nine-figure exit. This isn't a podcast telling you, you should do this. I'm just telling you how I did this, and I hope that helps you. I want to help you build your business, take ownership of your life, and become a better leader at home and at work. And guys, I'd love to connect with you, especially if you're a medical entrepreneur. I have free courses available to help you scale your medical business. Check those out at dralexspinoso.com slash courses. That is D-R-A-L-E-X-S-P-I-N-O-S-O dot com slash courses. I also invite you to connect with me on Instagram at Dr. Alex Spinoso, LinkedIn at the same and every other platform, YouTube, et cetera, I am always Dr. Alex Spinoso. Thanks for listening. I wanna share two stories today to make an important point about the way that successful people operate. The first story is one I heard about a couple years ago. The second story is something that happened to me personally much more recently. So, My wife takes her faith very seriously. And a while ago, we were listening to a preacher, and he told this story. A man had been teaching his little girl to ride a bike. In addition to learning how to balance, pedal, and steer, the man wanted his little girl to understand the importance of safety. So what did he do? Well, he taught her to always wear a helmet. Because if you get hit by a car or thrown off your bike for some reason, he said, your helmet might save your life. He taught her to look both ways before crossing the street. He taught her about the way reflectors worked at night. Overall, he stressed the importance of safety. Well, a couple weeks later, after the little girl got the hang of riding a bike, she and her dad took a bike ride on the outskirts of their relatively small town. Everything was going well, but unbeknownst to the dad, They were rapidly approaching private property, and on that property was a nudist colony. That's right, a bunch of people who like to just hang out in the nude. Hey, no judgment here, that kind of sounds a little bit fun. But usually the people who live there aren't the people you want to see naked in the first place. Well, this issue wouldn't have been a big deal, except for the fact that two of the nudists decide to venture off the private property and go for a bike ride. As the two nude cyclists approached the little girl and her dad on the road, the dad started to panic. The two cyclists were both grown-ass men, just pedaling away, doing the Ball Johnson dance, completely buck naked. What was he going to do? His little girl was so young and so innocent. Would this traumatize her? Would it somehow scar her for life? It was too late to turn around and avoid them. But as he frantically was searching his mind for a solution, the little girl saw the nude cyclists. Her eyes got even bigger. Her mouth dropped open wide and she gasped. (gasps) She pointed at them. And in exasperation, she said, Daddy, they aren't wearing any helmets. You see, the men were totally nude but all she saw was the safety concern. That, my friend, is what you call laser focus. I actually don't remember what the preacher said was the point of the story, at least for the purpose of his sermon, but I thought of that story after what happened to me last week. Last week, I met with a friend and fellow entrepreneur who is also in the medical business space. Even so, we became business partners. We were talking shop and I was asking him questions and benefiting from his experience and his insight. He's an absolutely phenomenal guy, extremely successful, and at one funny moment, something happened that reinforced why this dude is so successful. We were ordering drinks and he looks at the drink menu, scans it for a second, and then says, um, I'll have the Med USA. The server looks at him and kind of scratches her head. And I look at him thinking, that's a weird name for a drink. The server asks, Med USA? 
And he points at the menu. And the server laughs and says, oh, the Medusa. And the entire group busts out laughing. But, but, internally, I'm like, fuck. This guy is so laser focused on business that even his subconscious mind rearranges words to fit his thinking. Remember, he's in the medical field. So it doesn't matter that he's at a bar. It doesn't matter that he's ordering a drink. He doesn't read the name of the drink as Medusa. He sees it as Med USA. That's focus. That is laser fucking focus. And that's the way that successful people think. That's the way that they operate. And I know people who are going to ask, well, how do you get that focus, Alex? Well, part of me is tempted to say, you can't get it. You have to be built differently. And I think there's some truth to that. However, it's like the people who obsess about whether the person that they are dating is their soulmate. Well, if you want to marry them and you end up marrying them, then they're your fucking soulmate. In other words, stop worrying about whether they are or not and just take action and have a great marriage. It's the same way with this. How do you know if you're built different? Act like it. Practically, the people I've encountered who have laser focus have three qualities about them. They aren't driven by a dollar value. They're driven by this motivation of getting everything out of themselves they possibly can. So it's not, well, I'm focused until I make a million dollars or 10 million or 100 million or any amount of money. It's, I'm focused until my last breath, the last time my heart beats because I've got a destiny and what we do here echoes in eternity and all that shit that goes along with it. That's how you have to think. That's the mindset you have to embrace. Anything less isn't going to help you develop and sustain laser focus. That kind of laser focus mindset isn't sustained on its own. You have to consistently and systematically renew it to keep it strong. I don't know what this looks like for you. I don't know if it's visualization. I don't know if it's reading some kind of purpose statement every day. I don't know how you connect to the vision that drives this mindset and focus, but you have to. Figure out what works for you and do it. The laser focus is a result of consistently doing work and consistently experiencing the results. Listen, if I had a secret magical pool and I took you into it and I said, start panning for gold. If you keep it up, I guarantee eventually you'll find a piece of gold that'll be worth $1 million. How focused would you be? You would be locked in. And every time you successfully discovered a piece of gold, your focus would elevate more and more. You'd be an obsessively focused machine. Well, that's the way it is when you work hard. When you work hard, eventually you experience results. The harder and smarter you work, the better the results. You know this firsthand. You've experienced experienced it. So it becomes easier for you to focus. It becomes easier to sustain your laser focus because you have discovered for yourself that focus and hard work pay off. You understand that? So if you aren't as focused as you'd like, work harder. Get more results. The results will power your focus. Okay, so final thought. I think it's funny, also significant, that the drink my friend referred to as Med USA was actually called Medusa. If you know anything about Greek mythology, you know that Medusa was originally a beautiful woman. She slept with the god Neptune in the goddess Minerva's temple. Minerva was so pissed off that she turned the maiden into a hideous she monster, replacing her beautiful hair with a head full of snakes. And here's the key. She was so hideous that her gaze could turn anyone into stone, including the Titans, who according to mythology could even be more powerful than the gods themselves. In the myths, the hero Perseus ends up beheading Medusa and uses her uncovered face to turn the Kraken, a giant sea monster, into stone. 
That's what happens when Medusa focuses on you. She turns everyone to stone. Men, gods, titans, monsters. Alive or dead, that's how powerful her gaze is. And in the world of business, that's the power of having laser 